What's going on? Is that for Gordon Bombay or Wayne O? This is for Wayne O, Wayne Train. Oh, okay. I actually picked this up at All-Star Weekend. They had a little pop-up for Gret, <laughs> and they gifted me this beautiful, rare 99 ball cap right here. Rare because not enough people will buy it because they don't want it, or rare because they only make a few? I think they only make a few, but they could be planning to make some more. So I'm just, you know, I'm giving them a little plug today. Oh, a little tip of the cap too, Wayne. Oh, yeah, I like that. Uh, I, I, to a legend. To a legend. Absolutely. The goat. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I used to say others were the goat, and then somebody uh, put his stats in front of me and said, if we just eliminate this one right here, still better than everybody with two. It's like, okay, yeah, so that guy's the greatest of all time. Yeah. And he's doing incredible on the coverage. We're very thankful for him and Biz on Turner. On ESPN, we have big – Big things happening in the NHL. So tonight, Capitals take on Flyers. Pittsburgh Penguins need Flyers to beat the Capitals tonight. Then we also have the Red Wings taking on the Canadians after a massive beating of the Canadians last night. It was a big comeback. Huge. Big comeback. We need the Canadians to beat the Wings, and then the Pens have to win tomorrow to make it into the playoffs. I believe that's what's happening in the NHL, but there's so much on the line right now. I know last week you said, or earlier, I think it was last week, you said NHL playoffs are going to be must-watch. Mm -hmm. It's starting right now, isn't it? Aren't the playoffs starting right now, seemingly, PK? Playoffs started weeks ago for some of these teams. Detroit, Pittsburgh, Philly, Wash, Long Island. They've been playing playoff hockey for the, probably the past couple months. Um, you know, when Pittsburgh made the trade for Jake Gensel to go over to Carolina, they knew what was at stake. They knew their playoff hopes. Nobody was counting them in. And they pushed it to this point now where they need a little bit of help. I really feel sorry for Pittsburgh. I felt like they ran out of uh, gas a little bit in Boston. But they need a little bit of luck now to get in. Hey, I'm be I'm keeping it real. Listen, if they would have Jake Gensel on the team, right. I thought that game against they could have used him against Boston. Yeah, and the way For you sure. say the word against is certainly something that I we will have to address at a different time because what you're talking about is real. Six four. You know, six four. Mm -hmm. Pens lose at home mm -hmm. to the Bruins, which Oof. you know puts them in a bad spot going forward. Now we need the Red Wings to do what the Red Wings have done best over the last ten years. Yep. Amen. Whoa. Okay. What's That's that? what we need out of you. You should have seen the game last night. It was unbelievable. Well, I mentioned it to the Canadians fans, you know, whenever I was talking about the Canadians on Monday Night Raw. And then we need the Caps to just, you know, maybe do something for us. Just roll over. You mm -hmm. know, just yeah. roll over in this entire thing. What are the chances that people rest teams? Like, for instance, if it does work out in the favor of the Pens, tomorrow night they got to beat the Islanders. Islanders have already clinched. Will they rest players because they're already in? I'm so disappointed right now. I'm so disappointed that Pittsburgh is in this situation. Oh. It almost doesn't it doesn't feel fair uh, for the way that Sidney Crosby has played and how close they pulled it. But oh. let's let if we're keeping it real, I don't see Washington losing to Philly right now with the way they're playing. They Come got on. great goaltending. Spencer Carberry's done a phenomenal job. They make it into the playoffs. I think he's got to be considered for coach of the year. Car bomb, we're calling him. Like and that. the way that Ovi's got this team yeah. rolling right now with their leadership, they're playing with juice. They're a confident team. They rallied around that Jensen injury. It's going to be – they're a tough team to beat right now. I just don't see Philly beating them. Now, is it possible? Of course. But then you got to go into Montreal, and you hope that Detroit – loses to Montreal, which is more possible. Oh yeah. I think that's quite I think that's more possible than Ooh. Philly losing to Washington or beating Washington. So there's some hope, but I'm just I'm upset that Pittsburgh's in this situation. Me too. Right Bump dot. Will the Islanders rest players tomorrow because they've already clinched? Uh I don't think so, man. I mean unless somebody's banged up, unless players are banged up playing with injuries, uh listen, they wanna they want to lock this thing in and and just you know, finish the season on the right note. I don't listen. I don't think the Islanders are in any position to be resting guys right now. They gotta be. They gotta be going into the playoffs as a well-oiled machine. And right now, they're the team you don't want to see in the East. Oh, oh great! Wow. Okay. Unless you're so, Pittsburgh. So I gotta keep it real. Well, listen, Crosby's doing his thing. He, so yeah. that point, mm -hmm. he's doing his thing. It's everything else. You know, they need a little bit more. Those goalies, the, the goalies, peak. I don't know if we got around to the goalie question. <laughs> who gives who gives their team the best chance? That teams are in the playoffs right now. Uh, well, you got in the East. You got Bobrovsky. You got Shesterkin, and you have Vasilevsky. So I look at Tampa. Tampa's a team that could be a bad bad matchup with somebody in the first round. Obviously, great power play, and Vasilevsky can steal a series. 
But for me, the team that you got to watch out for is New York. I mean, you know, New York, is it a perfectly built team? Uh, when you look at their team top to bottom, the only thing that I have questions about when it comes to New York is their physicality. Can the Rangers get physical enough to be able to stand possibly a six or seven game series with a team like Florida? Because that's what they're probably going to have to do. If everything goes the way that it's going to go, it's going to come down to that. Is that are they going to get soft when the going gets tough? And you got to get tough. And I think New York's got the best goaltender right now in the league in Shusterkin. Game on the line. He's probably the guy you want to net. And that's why they're probably, I haven't made my pick yet, but if I was to pick a team coming out of the East, they'd be one out of potentially two or three teams that I'd be looking at. The other two teams is Florida and Carolina for me. Wow. Carolina doesn't have Shusterkin and does not have Bobrovsky in net. So Bobrovsky and Shusterkin would be the two guys oh, outside yeah. of Vasilevsky. I just don't think Tampa's going to have enough to go the distance. Yeah, especially against the Bruins, PK. Uh, you know, and, and you're not mentioning Sway, and, and that's fine. We, we already kind of covered how, how you feel about the Bruins. Yep. We want to be under the PK Subban radar. There, there's no doubt about that because if you're not talking about us, no you one's listening. You want to talk about the Bruins? No, no, no. no. Actually, about- actually, PK, you know what? Funny enough, I don't. And I don't want to get into this whole <laughs> well, back and forth. Why don't we get into it? I'd love to get into it. Oh, maybe we'll, we'll save it for the playoffs, perhaps, PK. Okay. Because right. you know what? You're you're honoring the great one, 99, on your hat. And, you know, of this generation, of course, he is, you know, Sidney Crosby is that guy. And looking forward, though, Connor McDavid kind of set some little history, Whoa. made some little history with the 100 assist season. I believe he was the fourth guy to do it. Mario, of course, as we mentioned. Yep. Uh, Bobby Orr, I mean, the greatest defenseman in the history of the NHL. Would you agree as a defenseman? One, of, uh, you know, yep. yep, okay, yep. thank you very much. One of the goats then, if you will. And then, of course, Wayne Gretzky did it like 15 different times. Uh, for this to be done in today's NHL with how good, you know, the goalies that you just mentioned all are and just the level of skill, that there is? Is this just kind of unheard of, or is this something that we might see from McDavid a lot? And is Kucherov close? Is there any chance he gets there at some point or no? You mean to the and, – and, sorry. To, to the 100 assists mark, just on, on how great assists. that okay. is. Excuse me. Yep. So, well, McDavid I, – I think McDavid will get there again. There's no question about it. And if there's two players that will, I think Kucherov and McDavid are the two players. There's Don't no remember. question those two guys – are probably the most skilled players on the planet. I don't like if you ask any player in the NHL if they say that Connor McDavid, like find me players that are more skilled than Connor McDavid and Kucherov. Kucherov does what he's doing in his sleep. It doesn't matter what time of day it is. It doesn't matter what game it is. What? Bigger game, smaller game. It doesn't matter. That guy's gonna he's gonna find a way to get on the stat sheet. It's the same thing with McDavid. So I would not be surprised at all if those guys cracked the 100 point, uh, 100, 100 assist mark. I could actually see them getting more than 100 assists in a season very, very easily. Um, I look at Tampa and what Kucherov did. You know, everybody says he's playing with some great players. Yeah, he is, but that's not the same team that won the Stanley Cup. This is not a Stanley Cup team that it he's really playing on. Like it's a great team. On the beach, baby. Wow. It's wow. a great team, but it's Bigger. not the same depth. So. I, I could see those guys doing it for sure. Patty Maroon's on the Boston Bruins right now? Yep. yep. Yes, he is. We're the toughest team in the league, baby. No one wants to throw hands with us. How's that happen? We got that stupid Boston ownership team. You got Patty Maroon just going to dance around. The guy's an actual winner. That's all he does. Win. St. Louis, win. Tampa, win. win. What? Tampa, win. Why? And now he's on the Bruins? Yeah, but like, Boston ownership. But let's leave the city of Boston out of it. Fenway Sports Group. Fenway ownership. Yeah, as soon as I hear that, I hear yeah. Boston. No, 